Hi, my name is Chris Candaya. Welcome back to One Kings. Thank you so much for persevering with this book. Uh, it's been some tough stuff to look at, hasn't it? And uh, recently we've been looking at some pretty difficult kings. Uh, so we had about Rehoboam and, and uh, his evil and his pride. But since Rehoboam, there's been even worse kings. Look at Zimri, who, who murdered uh, loads of people. And then Omri, uh, up the ante and did seem to do even worse. But now... Here we go, 1 Kings chapter 16, we have King Ahab, and Ahab, son of Omri, according to verse 30, did even more evil in the eyes of Lord than any of those before him. He not only considered it trivial to commit the sins of Jeroboam, sons of Nebat, but he also married Jezebel, daughter of Ethbal, king of the Sidonians, and began to serve Baal and worship him. It seems that king, the kings have kind of reached rock bottom from the amazing heights of, of King David, a king after God's own heart, who even though he fell and sinned, uh, came back to God and offered God worship and uh, was given uh, permission uh, that his own son would, uh, would build a temple. And then Solomon, uh, a great man of wisdom, but sadly uh, allowed his own appetites, particularly for um, relationships female uh, male relationships to kind of become the center of his life and it led him into sin and since then we've had bad king after bad king after bad king and then something new happens um because of the way these kings have become more and more corrupt uh, we get an introduction of, of a new kind of phase in uh, salvation history uh, where the prophets take a bigger role and uh, the prophet that gets raised up now, uh, according to chapter 17, is Elijah the Tishbite from Tishbe in Gilead. And he said to King Ahab, as the Lord, the God of Israel lives, whom I serve, there will be neither dew nor rain in the next few years, except at my word. Then the word of the Lord came to Elijah, leave here, turn eastward and hide in Kerith Ravine, east of the Jordan. You will drink from the brook and I've directed the ravens to supply you with food there. So he did that. Uh, he did what the Lord had told him. He went to Kerith Ravine, east of the Jordan, stayed there. The ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning and bread and meat in the evening. And he drank from the brook. Because of the corruption of the kind of um, uh, monarchical dynasty, uh, God is now raising up an alternative voice to challenge those kings. And um, I guess this prophetic tradition, you, you probably know a lot about Elijah if you've ever read the Bible before, some amazing stories ahead of us. But this prophetic tradition is important because it carries on not just after Elijah and Elisha, uh, but into major prophets like Isaiah and Jeremiah. But this is the kind of first in the new phase of prophets that will challenge the king in this way. And uh, just hearing that voice of authority, as the Lord, the God of Israel lives, whom I serve, there'll be neither dew nor rain in the next few years except at my word. The prophets had a really important role to call the king to honour God. And it wasn't just uh, new information about God. It wasn't just predictive prophecy that, about when Jesus will come, although that is important. Most of it was just calling the people of Israel, and particularly the rulers of their day, to honour the God who made a promise to them. And they made promises back to God in the covenant. And uh, so sometimes we talk about prophetic ministry. And um, it's important that uh, you know we seek those kind of diff different gifts and skills. Uh, but sometimes that prophetic ministry is just calling people back to honour the word of God and the promises that God has already given us. That seems to be how it worked a lot of the time, not all the time, but a lot of the time in the Old Testament. So it's really good if you feel you've got a prophetic gifting to be really aware of what the Bible actually says, because that will help you fulfil your calling uh, to uh, be a prophet, to call God's people back to faithfulness to God's covenant. Have a fantastic day. Keep going in one king.